Hello Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to get you some important love messages. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and may not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me important love messages for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn today. <clears throat> show me more. When I say somebody, that means it could either be you or the person whom you could be thinking about or dealing with. We've got the four wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So there's somebody here with a judgment whom would like to speak with you or you would like to speak with this person. Because we've got the Ace of Swords here as well. Definitely somebody, I feel like Nine of Wands, in Reverse, and Queen of Pentacles in Reverse. You may be ignoring them. You may have given up on them on the connection for Pentacles in Reverse. You may have released this person or it could go vice versa but i definitely see a union reunion here judgment somebody really wants to talk really wants to hash things out i feel like it has something to do with their past behavior the emperor here and reverse um i don't know i'm getting this energy of if you've been dealing with somebody who could be uh either very stubborn or very controlling or that they may um or that they may be very busy at work with the Ten of Wands here in love verse. This person may be ready to want to speak with you. They may tell you some changes that has been that have been happening in their life or some changes that they may have made to themselves. Or they may want to speak to you in regards of the way they may have treated you in the past. Again, it could be anything. It could be either them being really stubborn, controlling, or not dependable. Um... Again, it feels like this is somebody you have given up on, right? This person really wants to speak with you or vice versa. Two of Wands here. But it's kind of indecisive because Two of Wands indicates a choice. This person would like to speak to you in regards to the future with the Wheel of Fortune here. Some of you, in if you're in a long-distance relationship, somebody may want to speak with you in regards of uh, seeing you. They may be talking about their plans um to come and see you to travel to you or have you to travel to them okay that's just for some of you if you're in a long distance relationship but i definitely see a communication coming in a very clear honest communication coming in um uh, in regards again of the future or to also hash things out or to talk about some travel plans with the wheel of fortune here some of you it's you thinking about traveling to somebody or somebody just traveling to you Maybe a love connection may not be a love connection, all right? Although I know this is a love reading, but that's just a side message right there. But let's see more. Okay, especially for those of you dealing with a fire sign, strong Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Can be any sign or somebody like you are, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Cancer. I'm seeing here any fixed signs. Four ones, the chariot, wow, and the world here. Interesting. So somebody is coming out of their zone, whatever their zone could be, something they've been thinking a lot, stressing out a lot, uh, and they've been really unhappy with the sun here in love first, and I feel all oh, that you've been really unhappy with them. Some of you have already walked away from them or could have given them an ultimatum. Um... Or on your way to walk in out of their life. It really depends, yeah? It's a general reading. So just take what resonates with you. But I definitely sense this person is going to send you a message. But it's a good message, right? Because it's a page of one. So it's a message of passion. Them wanting perhaps to offer you this new beginning. Ace of Swords. Start over. Let's start like a clean slate. You know, with the world here, that means new chapter is beginning. I feel like somebody is offering you, will be offering you, or you will be offering somebody in regards to let's start over, right? Clean slate, of course, Ace of Swords indicates you need to cut something off, right? Someone maybe may have been working on themselves or letting go of, if there's a third party, letting go of a third party. Or the third party can be anything. It may be work-related, external issues, internal issues. 
friends, family could be meddling into this connection. So whatever the third party is, I'm definitely sensing the Ace of Swords here. Somebody here is wanting to cut all of those out and wanting to start this new chapter with you with the world. A lot of traveling cards here because we've got the... Um, chariot the world will fortune two of wands even the page of wands here it feels a bit like traveling if it's not physical physically traveling towards you it could be you know just metaphorically them wanting to move towards you taking actions towards you um definitely a lot of communication um will be happening for sure i feel like this person may want to reconcile with you for wands here or may want to marry you or take the relationship to the next level uh, start a new connection that could be stable more stable than before hmm. some of you if you have nobody at all you're not currently connected with anybody at all i feel like spirit's trying to say i say to you here the judgment of ace of swords you're finally going to see or meet this person okay possibly within two days two weeks or two months and will of fortune it will be a really good connection i feel because it's a big change but a positive change from um, the kind of people you used to connect it with in the past and now i feel like this new person is going to be completely completely different from what you're used to and it's again a very good change uh, and the two of wands here feels like it's separated right but when this change happens it will come together as one i definitely see that i've never seen the two of ones like that but i see that now because of the ace of swords above it and the will of fortune and for some of you it could be a reconciliation right unhappiness with your partner or somebody you could be mm, going through some issues with or separated i sense this person coming towards you or you going towards them uh, I feel like this is going to be a life-changing union for the both of you or life-changing reconciliation for the both of you. It's like this new chapter is definitely coming and with the chariot here, it feels like somebody is getting ready, okay? Somebody is getting ready to make their move towards you or you're getting ready to make your move towards somebody here. And uh, for some of you, it will be both of your plans of traveling together doing all sorts of new things together i feel like it's very exciting and very worldly hmm. interesting and you know what cherry and a four wands could be buying a new house together moving in together right because it's there's this movement here some of you it's migrating to the country where your person is living is where your person is living or your person is migrating to your country where you're living that's just for some of you but let's see more also seeing an apology coming in yeah we've got six of swords here six of swords is another movement card for me moving towards karma water i'm definitely sensing somebody is moving towards you because they do love you this person may be a pisces cancer scorpio uh, can be any sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I feel like this person, um, if you have somebody here, you have five of swords who may be hot and cold, or that they may have been playing mind games or manipulative. I feel like it's just because they're trying to protect their heart. King of Cups here, they don't want to get hurt. Um, this may also be someone that you have walked away from with the five cups. You may feel like they have mistreated you in some way, shape, or form. This person is going to apologize to you, okay? And understanding too that uh, you are somebody very genuine towards them. And also telling you, expressing to you that they do love you. But I feel like before that, they may be um, unsure whether to express to you how they feel. But I'm definitely sensing someone is going to express to you what they're thinking, how they're feeling. And then apologizing justice and love first for treating you f uh, unfairly here in the past. Hmm. Again, if you're single, you may be meeting this person. It feels like it's somebody different from your race or different background, age gap. Some of you could be in the same gender relationship as well. Um, hmm. feel like this person could be a divorcee or was uh, in a very serious or long-term relationship for quite a bit we've got the knight of cups king of swords and the nine of cups here somebody also may be realizing that there's no point of them acting cold or that the, or that there's no point of them um not expressing how they feel 
about this person because they feel like with the five of swords here that's just some sort of game that they don't want to play anymore or it could be you okay because nine of cups here is in reverse so feeling kind of dissatisfied uh in regards of having to harbor these feelings for you or not telling you exactly what they're thinking and we've got the eight of pentacles here so a lot of you have been working really really hard i can see that for sure but this is also an omen of somebody is willing to work on this connection with you or it could be you as well okay again it could go vice versa definitely sensing someone wants to hash everything out and wanting to work on this connection maybe if it's not happening yet right now it's because two of wands they may be waiting for the right moment or that they're still slightly indecisive but the will of fortune here for me indicates um when the timing is right uh, this person will talk to you they will communicate with you but it's definitely a good communication that's going to lead to a very big change for the both of you good change yeah earth signs virgo taurus and capricorn this is your reading i hope you resonated if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm gonna leave you with uh, my videos on the screen right now these videos are from my second channel it's a travel vlog channel i'm in london right now i love i love i love it here in london i've been having a lot of fun so <clears throat> check out these latest videos if you want to if not it's fine uh i will also leave you with a playlist on the screen this playlist has all of the readings that i've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions but there are still valid readings as you guys know i post your videos almost every single day now twice a day so um a lot of a lot of other different messages there that you may have missed so check it out if you want to and also i am open for personal readings if you'd like to book me my information is in the description box below all right take care bye